Here we have the crocodile hunter. Watch it as she makes her way to the banks, looking for that ten foot gator. Before that ten foot gator finds her. That's a bird. Yeah, right there, just surfacing down. <laughs> Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our traveling adventures. On December 29th, 2020, after a nice kayaking adventure at Sam's Creek, we decided to explore the rest of the area a little bit more by foot. We thought we would walk around the lake near the entrance, where we generally drive past when kayaking Sam's Creek, to see if we might find some gators in the water. Halfway around the lake, we discovered a sign, which pointed out a trail to Sam's house. Not knowing what Sam's house was, we decided maybe it was time to explore and find out. Alright, so we're walking to Sam's house. We're hoping that Sam is not an alligator and this isn't a trap waiting to eat us as soon as we get there. We have point nine miles to go, so almost a mile to go. And it looks kind of scary. Which means we've also got that kind of a walk back. So let's see what happens. Ooh, we gotta walk this bridge. This is where the trap door is for the alligators. And those who lose their balance become food. Well, we hope we're on the right trail still. Those red markers turn to white markers. Um, let's just keep going. All right, more planks to walk. back there let me see if I can get over here yeah so there's water from a marsh back there you can't really see it in the camera and on this side just jungle uh, oh, we got another thing what do we got here Sam's house Pine Island and the lagoon we won't have enough time for the lagoon today. Not if we want to get back before sunset. <laughs> I told you Sam's an alligator. This is an elaborate trick just to get us there so he can eat us. All right, now we're coming up on something. We just see a house over there in the distance and a little bit of a clear, but we've got, what do we have here? We have some buildings and a sign. Digging up the past. And oh, this must be that sloth. There's a rhinoceros cut into that, it looks like. Um, Sam's house gate closes at five. The white loop. Oh, it was a mastodon. It wasn't a rhinoceros. 20,000 years ago. The Ice Age in Florida, a vast grassland. While northern parts of the country were covered in ice, Florida's landscape looked similar to today's Africa Serengeti Plain. The sea level was 3,000 feet lower than it is now, and you would have to walk an extra 20 miles to reach the coast. Hmm. 
So there's bones in here that you're supposed to be able to dig up. Um, that's not one, but okay. And the giant sloth. What does that say? A giant ground sloth standing 15 feet tall and weighing 5,000 pounds. This plant eater could knock down entire trees using its powerful arms and claws. The sloth pulled down tree branches and wrapped its tongue around the leaves to pull them off. Its large size protected this animal from pred predation. What's this little guy here? Well, not so little. To don't. Oh boy, how did you have to fight those alligators? Yeah, this this is a prehistoric kayak right here, folks. Let's see. This is a giant log carved just enough for you to sit in. Oh, I'm guessing that's what this is. I could be wrong, but I'm going to say that's what it is. Float down the river on your log, carved out log. Wait a second. So you can drive here? Area loop and a burial mound. All right, folks, this is it. This is Sam's house. We made it. it. Closes at five, but it's not a big house. We might be able to make it here in 20 minutes. Let's see what is. This is Brevard's oldest home, built by John H. Sams in 1875. This was believed to be the oldest standing home in Brevard County, originally built in Ugali. The house was taken apart, floated up the Indian River Lagoon, and reassembled on the site in 1878. In 1880, ten family members, four adults and six children, lived in this luscious 600-square-foot cabin. The cabin has been restored as one room, but originally divided into three spaces. It was also used as a school and for church services prior to the construction of the area's schoolhouse in 1883 and St. Luke's Church in 1889. And that there is John Sam and his granddaughter. All right, guys, we made it to Sam's house. Uh, we took a look around. Looks pretty interesting. We're going to have to come back because there's a little bit more to look at, and the sun's getting ready to set, and we don't want to walk through that trail as it's getting dark. Don't want the gators to get us. So let's take it. Let's take you back through the trail. Okay. All right, and if you want to take a shortcut, we can go straight through there. Maybe we'll come out. No, no, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I think that's just an overlook of the lagoon, but we don't have time, so. I don't think the ones are the board. Did you hear? Yeah, they're here, no way. <laughs> So, when I had the camera off, because I'm only taking short bursts of this little trail, we heard an alligator growl uh, somewhere, so I'm being told we got to walk faster. Before sunset. What are you running for? I don't know. Well, what are, if he's in front of us? All right. Ooh, ouch. We just got to Sam's house. And the sun's still up. Oh, but I can't see because I'm blinded by the sun. Oh. Ooh, there's one surfacing right there. The gator hunter. Ooh. Yep, that was one right there. I still see his tail though. After our walk and visit to Sam's house, we wanted to check out another area that was blocked off when we arrived earlier. It turns out the reason it was blocked off was because a manatee rescue was underway. We were told that six manatees likely got into the refuge by swimming over a concrete weir during a high water event, and with the colder water temperatures, FWC was concerned for their health. I'll put an article to the rescue in the description. Thank you for watching this week's video. Let me know what you thought of this adventure in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Until the next time, I hope to see you out on the water someday.